let's start. Today we will see how to implement a recycler view shimmer layout in the Kotlin Android. Let's see the project structure. At the app level build.gradle file, write this plugin. And integrate the shimmer layout dependency. Here we have the main activity, a model class, and an adapter class. And in this UI, we have the activity underscore main.xml file, which is the layout of the main activity. And the row underscore item.xml file, which is the layout of the single row of the recycler view. And a shimmer underscore layout.xml file, which will be a copy of the row underscore item.xml file. Let's see the UI. In the activity underscore main.xml file, the constraint layout is the root layout. Inside that, we have a recycler view. The visibility of the recycler view is initially gone. Then we have a shimmer frame layout. Inside the shimmer frame layout, we have a vertical linear layout. Inside that, we have included the shimmer underscore layout.xml file several times. And in the row underscore item.xml file, we have a text view and an image view. This is the shimmer underscore layout.xml file, which is the exact copy of the row underscore item.xml file. Here we have a text view and an image view. Let's see the Kotlin code now. This is a model class with a string variable as the data member. This string will be shown in each row of the recycler view. These are the imports. This is the adapter class. These are the data members, and this is how we initialize them. In the onCreateViewHolder function, this is how we inflate the row underscore item.xml file. In the bindViewHolder function, this is how we get the data from the model class and set it in the text view. In the getItemCount function, this is how we get the count of the number of items in the recycler view. This is the ViewHolder class. When an item in the recycler view is clicked, we show a toast here. These are the imports. This is the main activity. These are the data members. Here we have an array of string data, which we will use to populate the recycler view. In the onCreate function, we start the shimmer layout for 5 seconds. When 5 seconds are over, we call the setup recycler view function. In the setup recycler function, we configure our recycler view. When the recycler view is ready, we stop and hide the shimmer layout and show the recycler view. This is the get data function that converts the data from array to array list format. Let's run the app. So that's it. That's how you can implement a recycler view shimmer layout in Kotlin Android. Thank you.